Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the oxidation of secondary and tertiary alcohols. In the last video we looked at the oxidation of primary alcohols. We saw that primary alcohols can be oxidised to aldehydes and then aldehydes can be oxidised further to carboxylic acids. To carry out this reaction we heat the alcohol in the presence of an oxidising agent. A common oxidising agent is a mixture of potassium dichromate and dilute sulfuric acid. Potassium dichromate has an orange colour. During the reaction, the dichromate 6 ion is reduced to the chromium 3 ion and the solution turns green. OK, now we can also use acidified potassium dichromate to oxidise a secondary alcohol. I'm showing you here the oxidation of propan 2 ol Remember that we use a capital O in square brackets to represent one molecule of oxidising agent. When a secondary alcohol is oxidised, we make a ketone plus water. So propan 2 ol forms the ketone propanone. And if we're using acidified potassium dichromate as the oxidising agent, then the solution turns from orange to green. Now a key idea you need to learn is that ketones cannot be oxidised any further. If we look again at the oxidation of a primary alcohol, we can see why. During oxidation, we remove hydrogen from the carbon atom bonded to the alcohol group. As you can see, once we form the aldehyde, the carbon atom bonded to the oxygen still has another hydrogen to remove. So this means that aldehydes can be oxidised further to a carboxylic acid. However, in a ketone, the carbon atom bonded to the oxygen is not bonded to any more hydrogen atoms. So because of that, we cannot oxidise ketones any further. Now when we oxidise a secondary alcohol, we heat the reactants under reflux. And I'm showing you the apparatus for that here. By heating under reflux, we can ensure that as much of the ketone forms as possible. Now at the end of the reaction, we will have a mixture of chemicals. We'll have our products, which are the ketone and water. We'll also have unreacted alcohol and oxidising agent. So at the end of the reaction, we use distillation to separate our ketone from the mixture. Ketones cannot form hydrogen bonds. And this means that ketones are volatile chemicals with relatively low boiling points. OK, I'm showing you here the tertiary alcohol 2-methylpropan-2-ol. As you can see, in tertiary alcohols, the carbon atom bonded to the alcohol group is not bonded to any hydrogen atoms. So this means that tertiary alcohols are not easily oxidised under normal laboratory conditions. If we heat a tertiary alcohol in the presence of acidified potassium dichromate, then no reaction happens and the oxidising agent remains an orange colour. OK, so hopefully now you can describe the oxidation of secondary and tertiary alcohols. Mm -hmm.